Uh, okay, so we talked a little bit about your objective, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and what is it? To push her around and get my point across. Mm -hmm. And I, did I, I don't know that I selected that objective, did you? No, I don't recall. Yeah. I just wrote it down. You just wrote it down. Okay, because to push her around is probably not an objective I would have selected for you. Um, because again, like, uh, you're supposed to be like this upstanding, straight arrow, you know, and you're kind of by the book, right? So whatever objective you select, you're gonna wanna use the words that he would actually think. Mm -hmm. So if he's consciously thinking, I'm walking in here and I'm gonna push her around, it makes you very dark. Does that make sense? Right. It makes you somebody who's not really a straight arrow, but somebody who's kind of a thug. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's what he is from what you're telling me. You're telling me that he's somebody who dots his I's and crosses his T's, and he's totally by the book, and she's saying, okay, there's a little bit of a gray area here. Is she not? Mm -hmm. You know, kind of a gray area on the interpretation of the law. And she's saying, isn't that kind of what she's saying? And you're right, saying, right, right. no, everything is black and white. This is the way it is. Yeah. Is that correct? Correct. So if you walk in with an objective like to push her around, it kind of changes your character a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how do they describe you? Just by the book. In the breakdown. And, um, he doesn't bend the rules. Okay. So he so then, does what he does. Right. So then, you know, this is not a guy, in my opinion, who has a lot of tattoos. Would you agree? Yeah. You know? So when you do your audition later, probably not a good idea to wear a short sleeve yeah, shirt. Yeah, I have a change of clothes. <laughs> okay. So you yeah. probably want to wear a long sleeve right. shirt right. with a blazer. Mm -hmm. You know? That kind of a vibe. I'm not saying you have to wear a tie, but you're going to want to No, but that's what I have. I have a little suit. Yeah, like a suit's great. But he has to be very upstanding and I don't want to say dorky, but a little bit. You know? He's a little dweebish. You know, and so now Dweebish doesn't have to be like in it in the in the sense that you're like, where's Waldo? Mm -hmm. it, it can be, you know, an attractive, handsome, leading man who's a dweeb. Do you follow what I'm telling you? So he's he's just a straight arrow. So straight arrow that he's annoying. So that when he's talking to her, it's like this and this and this. And this is the way it is. And this A plus B is supposed to equal C. And she's saying, well, not always. And, you, and that should drive you nuts. Right. Like, what do you mean not always? We're doing math here. And she's saying, it's not a science. And you're saying, yes, it is. Does that make sense, Kaya? Makes sense, perfect sense. So I think um, that's where I would veer more on your role, is to make him a little bit more square I also think that you know once you kind of like sat down and got into the groove of the scene, I felt like you had a little bit more of a, of a like when you walked in, you were a little bit wavy. Do you know what I mean by that? No. <laughs> okay. When I say wavy, I mean a little string bean like, mm -hmm. like you kind of like were blowing in the wind, like you just kind of looked a little bit not solid, like you were like standing grounded. He would be, you know, he's a grounded, Person. you know, with, he, what, yeah, he's, he's very, um, matter of very matter of fact, but also he has strong conviction wow. or sort of to the point. And, you know, I was, I was kind of joking, but not really. Like he's a full on confident, grounded Republican. I'm saying he's not like he's not like in a gray area on his political yes, it, views. Like he's very is. he's very confident in his choices. He really believes in what he's saying. He stands in his way. Yeah, and, and the fact also I would also use the fact that she's a woman to drive you even more nuts. Mm -hmm. That you're letting this young, attractive judge boss you around should make you go freaking nuts. Because it should be an old man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Does that make sense? Makes sense? So let those things, like the fact that she has the guts to say things like, if you ever come into my court, that should just make, you know, like in the old cartoons when the steam goes out your ears. Mm -hmm. Like that's what that is to you. Like you're having an ulcer. 
So, I mean, I know your audition is today. I don't want to mess with it too much. No, it's okay. I was sort of quite but, nervous, actually. What's that? I was a tad bit nervous. Yeah, I but like, but I, I think that, you know, you have a certain, this is a, a, another good lesson in casting. Like, I understand why they're calling you in. You know, CBS and the whole deal, you know, they, they want very sort of leading men, attractive vibe, right? But you have to be able to play that. So, you know, for example, you cannot be talking to the casting director doing this. <laughs> okay? So, I don't care if you're like that with me, but like if you're going to be playing a leading man, when you're standing there and you're talking to her in your audition, you got to plant your back leg into the ground and talk to her with conviction, exactly. with power. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. With authority instead of kind of like this, you know, because when you were talking to her, oh, you're kind of like this. You're kind of swaying a little bit, and your arms were a little weak, and that's not this guy. What role is he playing? A, uh, a, a cop, a detective. Oh.